Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we'll be creating the about us page, specifically the first two sections. Uh, the, the first row, this is a slideshow row. And as you can see, the background is a parallax image. When I scroll up and down, you can see the parallax effect. And the second section uh, or the second row is the uh, info box row. So we'll be this two sections in this particular tutorial. To do so, come back to your website and click on about us. Okay, so it has redirected us to the about us page that we have created. Now click on enable visual builder. Okay, so first we have to add a full width slider. So click on this plus button and select full width. Now from here select full width slider. Okay, now we have to add a new item. So click on add new item. And as you can see here, the heading is our company and the tagline is uh, something our company tagline, lorem ipsum something. So from in the headline, just type in our company. Okay. If you want, you can also insert a button. So you can also add the button text like we saw in the first lecture uh, where we created the slideshow for the home page. Okay, so come down and till the bottom and over here, paste your tagline. This is the tagline as you can see. And here we also have a button which says learn more. So let's add a button text which says learn more. Okay. Now let's add a background image so that we can see the changes that are taking place on the website. For now, just click on save changes again so to insert a background image click on this gear icon again click on this gear icon and here we have the background image click on upload this is the image we want so select this and click on upload an image and as you can see now we have the background image right up here now let's do changes in this thing as you can see the font and everything is different over here so come to design scroll down at present the header font size is 46 let's increase this okay till 68 it looks fine now make it bold okay as you can see in the demo website it is bold so we are making this bold now let's come back to the body font at present it is 16 pixels let's increase a bit 21 pixels looks fine. Now make this yes. Use custom styles for button. Okay, button size. Let's increase this. Not this much. Okay, so 15 pixels looks fine. Okay, you can change uh, the icon. Obviously, we saw all this. So I don't need to repeat everything. But you know what I'm talking about. You can change everything from here. And here the color is different. So you can also change the button color. It's very simple. Let me show you how. Here it is. Button icon color. Okay. That is the um, button border color. Button text color. Button background color. For example here as you see the text color and border color are the default color which we have selected. So let's make that. Let's put that color. 3FB0AC the text color and the border color have become the same now you can also you know change some settings from here you can make this dark from here you can change the opacity if you want so it's all up to you you can do a lot of things from here if you are done with all these changes click on save changes again now you have to delete this section because we don't need this so how are you you'll see this dustbin icon just click on that you're done okay but if you it is not parallax so let's do that again click on this gear icon okay and when you scroll down you see this option use parallax effect let's make it yes now if you scroll down you can see the parallax effect uh, in action okay now click on save changes so we are successfully done with the first section it was very easy now let's create this second section very 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 beautiful section and very useful section indeed Okay, now click on this plus button to add a new section and click on regular. 
here we have four different columns so select this one four columns and in the search bar type in blurb okay now the title this is the title which says a digital agency just tie up put in the title you can also you know uh, link this title to some page or something if you want some product or some page then you have URL the here is the URL that you will put uh, from which you want to link this title you can we have to use an icon obviously let's see that this is a television icon or a monitor icon okay let's search for that here it is this one I guess yeah this is the one now let's change the color okay this looks fine now okay image placement is at top that is fine okay you can see the animation and everything text color is fine text orientation should be center here is also it is center now we have to put this thing the subtitle or a short description over here just paste that thing over here now this looks similar to this one so similarly we can create this uh, info boxes also so come back to your website click on save changes now again like uh, every time we'll copy this to save our time and scroll up you uh, drag this over here now click on this gear icon to make some changes now the title is forward thinking and the icon is also changed so let's change the title coming back to the icon you can select any icon obviously it's all up to you there are a lot of icons over here so this is the one which we have used so we are using the same icon click on save changes okay again copy this drag this thing over here click on the gear icon to make changes okay this time it is problem solvers it is problem solvers the title problem solvers okay and the icon is gear icon so let's search for the gear icon let's put this thing instead of the gear icon okay click on save changes now this one is customer support again copy this drag this thing over here change the title to customer support let me drag this thing over here so that you can see the changes over here and now we have to change the icon from here you can select obviously any icon okay this is the one which we have used so let's select this one click on save changes so this is how you do and as you can see uh, the as the lectures are passing that this DV thing is really useful it saves a lot of time you know uh, we don't have to code we don't have to do anything let's uh, uh, do the spacing setting over here only so that we don't have to come again back and do the spacing okay so now the spacing is fine by uh, from bottom also let's decrease some space okay it looks fine now now click on this button and click on this save button you can also control uh, press control and s together it will save the changes that you have done click on this plus icon select regular okay now we have two different columns so select this one in the first column it's a call to action so search for call to action okay the title is our story so type in our story fine let's drag this thing over here so that we can see the changes let's copy this and paste it over here at the bottom and as you can see here the design the alignment is changed here it is justified so what you have to do is scroll up here you'll see the justified option just click on that and you'll see all the changes have taken place okay now there is some gap between our story and this thing so let's put uh, enter over here okay now if you want more gap you can put one more enter if you want it's all up to you 
and if you notice i don't know whether uh, in this video you can see this or not the above section which is the information info box section and the below section uh, there is a difference in the background color the above section has pure white color whereas the below section which is this section on which we are uh, working at present has different color it is some something different than white so let's do that okay so we have to change that background color so first remove this color see this background color because we don't want this one and click on save changes now how are you click on this gear icon the blue one which is to you know make changes in this section setting now we have this background color option select this and you can select any color from here as you can see you know there are different colors but the one which we have used in the demo section is f7 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 okay okay so this is the one which we have used also if you notice there is a thin shadow between both these sections so let's put that also so for that scroll down you'll see this option show inner shadow just make this yes and now you can see this thing over here also so this really looks fine and now click on save changes now again come back over here because we have to change the color of the text so click on this gear icon scroll down and instead of text color light select dark so now we can see this thing again click on save changes but when we see this section the demo section and our website section that there, there is a lot of difference because we don't have padding extra padding uh, on both the sides so let's do that for that what we have to do is click on this gear icon come to design scroll uh, to the bottom and you have custom padding so in right and left put 80 pixels okay now as you can see it looks similar this one and this one now we have to change the size of this text so scroll up over here at present the header font size is 26 let's make it 35 and also bold okay now this looks similar click on save changes okay so we have successfully done this now we have to create this progress bar so let's do that again come back to your website click on this plus uh, plus button and search for a module called bars bar counters now click on add new item and let's uh, drag this over here so that we can see the changes the title is brand strategy so let's copy this and paste it over here and percentage is 90 percent so let's put 90 over here okay so it's brand strategy 90 percent now we have to change the design okay so come to design and background color here as you can see it is very light but in the demo website it is a bit darker so let's select a darker color for background color as you can see when we select this color here the changes are taking place okay so this one looks fine it is bc 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 okay now we have bar background color so let's change this also you can make any color red blue whatever you want uh, but we have selected the default color which we have selected throughout the uh, website which is 3fb0ac this looks nice now okay now you can also change the percentage color it is uh, white then that white looks fine according to me okay now come back to the general option and click on save changes okay now scroll down we have some options over here in the design section when we see we have all this border radius and these options so increase the border radius now when we increase the radius as you can see the border have become round so that beautifies and uh, the this progress bar now we have to increase the title font also as you can see when i increase this we don't want this big let's try 20 okay let's try 22 22 is looking too big 8 let's go with 20 okay so title font size is 20 obviously you can change it according to your wish okay now let's change the font for this one so basically it will increase the size for this bar also let's make it 15 
okay so 15 looks fine click on save changes now instead of doing this thing again and again two times what we do we go to gear icon and we copy this thing two times okay one more time now we just have to change the title and the percentage we don't have to do all this uh, setting like border radius and so on so it you know it is very helpful and it saves a lot of time the second one is internet marketing which is 65 percent so let's put internet marketing in the title and put 65 percent click on save changes and the third one is app development which is 85 percent so again click on this gear icon change the title and change the percentage okay guys so this looks this looks really beautiful okay so we have successfully created this section also and the final section which is left is the testimonial section so come back to your website again and click on this plus sign to add a new section click on regular as you can see guys uh, this is divided into two section this testimonial is one section and these three columns are another section so let's add this testimonial title over here so we'll select only one column from here and from this module search for text okay and type in testimonials okay center align let's uh, see more changes let's increase the size of the font the text font size okay to 30 okay 36 to maybe 36 let's also change the font for this one to lato okay make it bold fine so this is the first section click on save changes now we have to add this section okay and you have three different columns so again click on this plus sign this plus button and click on regular now select this one with three columns and as you can see at the top we have some text again so again search for text copy this text from here paste it over here okay it is plain text at present we have to change all the settings so come here in the design section and in the text font select Walter turncoat this one the one which I have used here is Walter turncoat and we have to increase the text font size let's make it 24 and as you can see there is very less gap between the lines so let's increase the line height okay okay 1.4 looks fine and let's make this center align so come to general setting in text orientation select center okay so this looks exactly like this one now we want to add this image okay so for now click on save changes so again how are you and now we have to uh, press this button okay we have to add a new module in the same column so we have to press this button not this one this time okay the module press module button and search for image okay so we have to use this uh, module right now image module now we have to you can put a uh, image URL or you can upload an image so we'll upload an image let's upload an image this is the one first one click on open click on upload an image and as you can see this looks fine really awesome click on save changes now we have a uh, title and subtitle for this we'll use call to action button so again how are you click on this add module button and search for call to action now the title is sue smith okay and clean its mama blog whatever it is just put it over here 
and we don't want uh, any background color and the text color should be dark okay so remove this and text orientation is center that is fine and I think our image is oriented to left side let's make this also center for now click on save changes for this one so how our image and cl click on the gear icon and scroll down image alignment make this center okay now this looks awesome click on save changes okay now let's uh, decrease the space between Sue Smith and the another line come to design and you, you know you can uh, decrease this from here as you can see when we decrease this to one now it looks fine okay you can also change the uh, size of this font and all these things if you want okay so click on save changes there is a lot of gap between these things so just decrease the gap from here also okay this looks fine now instead of again copying everything uh, instead of uh, doing all the thing again and again we will do i uh, will just copy everything just drag it over here okay now let's copy this image this one and drag this image over here now let's copy this one again drag it over here okay similarly do this uh, for this column also copy it drag it over here copy this drag it over here and the final step copy and drag it now we have to change the text and all if you want so just for the sake of demonstration I was showing you you can also change the text from here for example let's select this one and type Nayar okay so as you can see you can change the text from here also here also you can change the text if you select this uh, you can uh, change the text to Nayar Shake fine click on save changes and to change the image click on this gear icon upload a new image like this the next one upload an image save changes the final image just hover this click on this gear icon click on upload select the final image this is the one open it click on upload an image save changes so we have successfully created the testimonial section also and this was really really beautiful section there's a lot of gapping over here i think let's reduce this okay so we have successfully created the about us page a very very beautiful simple and professional about us page okay once you are done with this just click on save so that you know we don't miss or we don't lose any of the changes that we have done and in the next lecture we'll be creating the contact us page i'll show you how to create the contact form because you know nowadays creating a contact form is a bit hard because now you have to get a google api i'll show you how to do that in the next lecture so see you guys in the next lecture till then take care